Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Demetrius. Thanks for coming back. I just wanted to do a quick little video, a short one, just to demonstrate something really cool on the Mac OS platform. Something that will change your life completely when you start to do things and you start to work with applications. One great way of doing automation on a Mac is to use the Automator application inside a Mac. So this, this application will allow you to automate almost anything on a Mac platform. It is fantastic, it's easy to use, it's a drag and drop system, fantastic. Let me show you a quick demo. X folder I've created on the desktop on the Apple Mac and I have a little PDF inside there. It's actually a PDF of a book that I wrote a while back. It's just nine steps to balance your stress levels in life. If you open up the PDF, you can actually get to see what that PDF is all about. You can get to see, okay, well, these are all the different uh, pages inside this PDF. And basically, I want to take every single one of these pages and I want to export them out into JPEG so I can use it for different things like printing and so on. Now, there is a very powerful tool inside Apple Macs, which is designed almost as if you're creating batch files or bash scripts inside Linux, but in this case, you can automate a lot of things inside Apple. So what you do is you do a command space bar, you type automator inside your system, it'll open up this program. The first thing it says is that what, what would you like to create? A workflow, an application, a quick action, a print plugin, folder actions, and so on. So what you can do is you can just say, uh, you can use this wizard, but I'm just gonna close the wizard down, I don't need the wizard or I can go and open up a previous one I wanted. So I'm gonna bring this up again because I wanna do a folder action. So let's do a workflow type of folder action. So the workflow is very simple. You've got all the actions on the left-hand side for the different programs and systems and parts of the Apple Mac system. So you've got your calendars, your contacts, pretty much everything you can work with, okay? And then you've got all the relevant actions inside this list here. It's so many things that you can do. I mean, there's so many things that you can actually achieve with this in terms of automating. So the first thing we want to do is we want to communicate with Finder because Finder is the program that searches for files on your machine. So what we do is we say, ask Finder, okay, for items. So we say, ask the Finder for the items, okay? So we just drag it and drop it. We put that action in there and we tell this action, okay, we want to go into the desktop and then we want to jump into the JPEGs folder and make sure that that's the one that's working. So that's the one that's going to be reading the necessary JPEGs, uh, sorry, in this case, the PDF, so it can go to convert it to JPEGs. Then the, the rest is very simple, really. We're going to go down to the bottom where it says render. And we're going to take this little op action that says render PDF as images. I don't know if you can see that. Render PDF as images. It's a very simple one. So you just drag that action in there as well. The default will be the 200 dots per inch, which is more than enough even for printing. And then finally, what we want to do is we want to move those, or what we do is we when we create these JPEGs, we bounce in them. The action is called bouncing. We're converting them. So we want to move these files to a particular place in the Finder uh, system. So we move Finder items, all right, to that JPEGs folder so that we put all the JPEGs in one place next to that PDF, or well, in the same directory as the PDF. So relatively simple. I'm just going to extract this out quickly. I'm going to expand this a little bit here. And then when you're ready, you just run this. And as soon as you run this, the first thing it's going to do is going to prompt you for the particular folder and then it should because it always has to check first and then it's going to uh, run as simple as that so click on run it's prompting for that particular folder this is the folder inside here we want to choose that pdf we want to work with because that's the pdf we want to ex um, extract out and create PD uh, jpegs out of and then this is how fast it is check this out bang it's as simple as that it really is that easy. You try to do that in any other operating system. And essentially is, there we go. There's the, the first page is a JPEG. And if I come along to the top here, that's the second page, third page, fourth, fifth, sixth, and it keeps on going all the way down. And every single one of those pages has been exported out as a, as a, as a JPEG. What a cool, cool way to do things. What did you think of that? I mean, that was brilliant, right? So... 
If you're a Mac user and you want to automate everything inside your life when it comes to the Mac OS system, the Automator is a fantastic program. Try it out, experiment, do a couple of automation to, uh, workflows, see if you can create some things for yourself and let me know how it goes. Thanks everyone. See you soon.